Hi, this is Namrata Gulati Safra, Deputy Editor at SOAR Energy International. Joining us in a conversation with us is Mr. Tanmay Duwari, who is the CEO at Axitech Solar, which claims to be the number one solar module manufacturer in Europe. Thank you so much for the conversation. Thank you uh, for being here and giving us a chance to speak to you. So to begin with, give us an insight into the launch of Topcon technology from Axitech. Right, so the module that you see in the background is the N-Type Topcon which we are currently offering in the Indian market. To give you a background, what is happening now, it's a, in the industry, in the solar module industry, it's, a, it's in a state of flux. And uh, there is a changeover happening from the regular P-Type Monoperk to, to the N-Type, either it's a Topcon or the AGT, which basically are competing technologies. Each, each has its own merits and, uh, and you know, uh, disadvantages as well. However, from what I see, uh, ultimately the industry will decide what uh, gives you the best cost benefit and, uh, advantage yeah. and that is what the industry is going to stick to. Yeah. So what happens uh, essentially in, in terms of uh, when you're looking at, when you're comparing the P-type uh, uh, monoperks which are you, the usual modules that we are producing right now as compared to the N-type modules, the basic thing is the semiconductor is different. Earlier we had the P or positive type semiconductor, now we have the N or the negative type semiconductor. The advantage with the N type semiconductor is that the level of degradation is very very low. So with the P type we had a degradation in the first year of around 2.5%, with the N type it's almost negligible, almost 1%. So as a result, even though the N type is more expensive, but you end up with more generation, higher generation. So you probably get back, uh, you earn back quicker and you have higher revenues right so this is in terms of uh, yeah well it's a techno commercial question that the customer has to answer and we are waiting for the n type topcon technology to stabilize uh, and i think that that is going to happen in the next 6 months yeah so when we compare hjt and topcon so uh, you know hjt is supposed generally it is said that it gives more energy efficiency but cost wise um, it is top con which is more cost effective yeah. so how would you compare the two and which do you think i mean as as a as a producer which one is is better not from the customer's point of view but from the uh, custom, uh, producer's point of view uh, i think it's an interesting question so uh, as i said they're competing technologies right HJT has a slight, very slight technical edge over the Topcon technology. However, it is much easier to convert the existing production capacities to a Topcon rather than an HJT. So as a result, obviously the Topcon is cheaper than the HJT and uh, people will be able to switch over and stabilize their production capacities much sooner. So ultimately, I think Topcon should be the winner and that is what we are betting on. Uh, it's sometimes you it's not sometimes it's not about the best technology sometimes it's the best value for money that you get and hence topcon seems to be the winner right now and how about if we compared uh, let's say topcon with monoperk uh, from what we understand uh, a lot of facilities production facilities uh, of regular monoperk modules are switching over to the n type topcon Hence, in the very near future, I would say uh, in a time window of let's say 7 to 8 months, probably 70% of a market is captured by an N-type technology, either AJT or, or Topcon and the P-type is going to die out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, tell us about your uh, installed capacities and what are your future ambitions with regards to capacities, say, in the next 2 to 3 years? So, uh, so when we're talking about, uh, so there are two markets specifically when we talk about one is the world market and then there's the Indian market right. and it's not necessarily that, uh, that the Indian market follows the world, uh, you know, scenario. So overall, of course, uh, in the Indian market, it's very, very warm right now. It's very hot uh, because we have uh, several, uh, you know, government policies which guide that and also, uh, you know, make uh, people buy or not buy at that particular point of time. For example, ALMM being one of the one of those things. Yeah. Having said that, uh, for us worldwide, we have done more than five gigawatts of solar installation. Uh, in India, we have done more than uh, I think 175 megawatts. However, this year itself, I think we should be able to add another 300, 350 megawatts itself. So, for us, the growth in India, even though we started very late. 
but overall it's very encouraging for us and we see a very bright future in the Indian market. Do you also have uh, cap installed capacities in the US? Uh, yes, we, we are quite uh, popular in the US but uh, our particular key segment over there is uh, small rooftops rather than the big scale projects. So when you look at the, uh, when you look at absolute numbers in terms of megawatts or gigawatts, we're probably less. But when you're looking at the number of projects installed with Axitec, it's quite a lot. So uh, yes, on a, on a consumer segment, in a B2C segment, we're quite popular there. And also, you know, the, the USA is really ramping up numbers given the Inflation Reduction Act. So, uh, you know, do the domestic uh, manufacturers, you know, who are setting up shop in US, uh, the Indians, uh, do they have something to worry about? Because, you know, US is a big export market for Indian manufacturers. See, I have a slightly different uh, point of view on this because uh, whatever opportunities that we've got in uh, the US market where we have exported, they they were a chance opportunity. It's not that we are getting uh, orders regularly from there. On the top of that, uh, the news about people having joint ventures there and setting up, uh, I think we have to, uh, you know, uh, take that with a pinch of salt and understand what is really going on over there. A lot of announcements are made, but uh, for them to materialize, it's, it's quite con exactly. Yeah. From also what I understand is companies in US solar module companies in US who are already producing there will have a definite advantage over people who are moving from here to there. Right. But on a long run, I think it's a time window of next two to three years where Indian manufacturers are able to sell in the US yeah. and take advantage of the gap there. Uh, but after that, yeah, after that, it's going to be the US manufactured modules. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.